All right, this is part two of making a text portrait. Uh, we have four different fonts going on. And I'm going to take my marquee tool and just drag around each one of these and say edit, define brush preset, and give it a name. Jenny1, hit OK. Do the same thing with each one. And what you're doing actually is creating brushes, believe it or not. Jenny 2. And then keep doing that with all of them. Alright, so the next step here is to take your uh, high contrast photo. And here I extracted it from the background. I had a black background. So uh, you want to do that if you haven't done that yet. And there's a tutorial on Blackboard that shows you how to do it. Um, and now the fun part begins. I want to uh, go ahead and make a selection here. So I'm going to go to select color range. And what's cool about this is you go to the drop down, you can actually choose shadow, midtones, or highlights. We want to choose shadows. And hit OK. It selects all those, and we're going to hit Control J. And what it's going to do, it's going to take all those shadow layers and make their own, uh, its own layer. All that shadow and just make its own layer. Very cool. Uh, we will do the same thing. We'll go back to, we'll hide that and just show the original again. Again, we want to make a selection, color range. This time we're going to do midtones. Hit OK. Same thing, Control J. And that sets those midtones on their own layer. Very cool. So now, if I reveal both of them, I have my shadow, midtone layer. Now let's go ahead and fill those. Uh, with the midtone layer selected, uh, I don't have any marching ants. So to do that, I hold the control button down and I click right on my icon here. Bam. And it activates those midtones. And I go to Edit Fill. And I want to make sure Preserve Transparency is checked. And go to the drop down and hit 50% gray. It's going to fill that with 50% gray. See? Now I go to the next, my uh, shadow layer, do the same thing. I'm going to hold the control button down and hit that icon. And it's going to select all my shadows. Same thing, edit fill. Make sure that's checked and this time we're going to do black. Hit OK. So now if I hit Control D for deselect, it will show me my midtones and my shadows together. The next step is to merge these both together. So I'm going to hold my Shift key down to select both layers and then right click and say merge layers. So now I have my gray and my black together on one layer and it looks great. Now go ahead and make a brand new fresh layer by clicking on let's see if I can move this here, the new layer icon. Fresh new layer, we're going to fill it with white by going to edit fill just like we've done before. This time make sure transparency is not checked. White should be 100%. Hit OK. It's going to fill that with white. All right, now we want to go ahead and uh, choose brush. And we're going to go under the drop down for the brushes here. And if you scroll all the way down, you will see your, choose one of yours that you made. Here's my Jenny one. And then go to window brushes and that will open up this window here if you click brush tip shape you want to adjust the spacing so that there's space in between your words but not too much space keep them kind of close together maybe something like that and then shape dynamics you want to change the size jitter get it pretty much maxed out and then the angle of the jitter just get it totally random looking and that's that.